Well, West Ham are celebrating making a first European final since 1976. They will play Fiorentina in the Europa Conference League final after beating AZ Alkmaar in the semis in a game marred by Alkmaar crowd trouble at the end. OK, we can go live to our reporter, uh, Gary Cottrell. Uh, I went to bed seeing Gary on the screen. I've woken up seeing Gary on the screen. We, we saw you in the stadium last night <laughs> explaining what, what had happened uh, last night. You were very much at, at the heart of things. So uh, explain then what occurred after the game. Yeah, I, I, I'll talk you through it from my point of view. It all really started uh, as a result of that late, late Four Niles goal, which secured, of course, the game and secured progress uh, to the final. The players all celebrated uh, with the official fans, the, the 900 West Ham fans who were behind Matt Ryan's goal. Uh, but down at the other end of the pitch, uh, David Moyes, the coaching staff, all the substitutes ran onto the pitch, three or four yards onto the pitch, uh, in front of Ariola's uh, goal, where where the, um, most of the AZ Elkmar ultra fans, the serious fans, were uh, watching the game. The fourth official tried to bring David Moyes and his coaching staff and the substitutes off the pitch. That, that went on for uh, two or three minutes. Eventually, he, he managed to do that. But also, of course, the West Ham family, friends and family of uh, the players, of the coaching staff, of David, of David Moyes, behind that dugout, also jumped up, revealed themselves and celebrated. Of course they would, because you know it was a crucial goal. It was an amazing night for West Ham. On this, those ultras, those hardcore fans, or at least some of them, uh, dressed in black, a lot of them, a lot of them with their faces covered with masks, made their way round, no stewarding at all uh, that I could see from behind that goal to the area b behind the, the West Ham dugout, and tried to get to uh, members of uh, the West Ham family, relatives and friends of the West Ham players, etc. Some of those players... Uh, saw what was going on, saw there was very little stewarding, saw there was very little policing and tried to go in to do their best to help. So, you know, I saw the likes of Flynn Down, Saeed Ben Rama, Lucas Paqueta, all trying to get to that area to get some of these ultras off their family and friends. And the, the leadership group, the captain's group, the likes of, of Declan Rice doing their bit as well, just to try and calm things down. Jared Bowen there as well, as well as Aaron Cresswell. So, yeah, really unfortunate scenes, uh, frightening scenes too for those involved. And I'm sure there'll be a, a lot of explaining to do as we go forward. You can't really, I don't think, from my perspective, blame the West Ham players who got involved. Perhaps the actions, in hindsight, were a bit foolhardy. But listen, if you've got, you know, uh, mothers, sisters, brothers, sons, fathers, uh, friends in that area and you see they're potentially in danger, then of course you're going to try and stop it. Yeah, very true. Now, now Gary, Netherlands police have released a statement this morning. We're seeing a little bit of it across the bottom of, of the screen in short, but what, what, what did they say about it? Yeah, well, they have issued a statement. They were quite quick to do so, given that obviously it was very, very late last night when it all ended and uh, everyone's got up this morning seeing those scenes on the television right across social media. Just to pick out some of the highlights from that statement from the Netherlands police, they say there have been no arrests, which is absolutely surprising, given that uh, there were so many obvious people causing trouble down there last night. They say that they aim to restore order as soon as possible and they say that they succeeded. Well, I disagree with both of those things. They did didn't restore order as soon as possible. They didn't aim to do it as soon as possible. The police in riot gear, or not even in riot gear, weren't anywhere to be seen for about five minutes. Just a few stewards left to try and handle the situation. They said they're investigating all the footage and uh, other bodies are involved in that investigation as well and arrests may follow and they regret what happened. UEFA are also uh, holding an inquiry and uh, the Met Police had police out there uh, yesterday around the stadium in the city of Alkmaar throughout the day, Met Police spotters with the West Ham fans and then in the stadium as well. So I'm sure they'll have a view about what happened and what went wrong. Gary, thank you very much indeed.